glad and happy to be back and have some exciting news for you. Probably already see the difference in my video. I got a new camera. Um, unfortunately, my lighting is still off right now, but I'm planning on fixing that. Um, but yeah, the quality is just so much better and I'm so happy that I decided to save up and buy this camera. Now the camera that I bought was the Canon T3i. It's a very popular camera for people that do makeup tutorials on YouTube just because you can see everything so clear. It's definitely gonna help you guys see what I'm doing in my tutorials a lot better. Um, I just need to get my lighting fixed still. So yeah, the video I have for you today is it's a redo of one of my older videos that is very popular. It's my most popular video on YouTube. Gold glittery, smoky eye. Um, I don't know why. This was one of my one of my tutorials that I didn't like, and it ended up being one of my most popular videos. So I decided that when I got a new camera, I was gonna refilm it, um, just so that the quality is better and that you can see. What I was doing a lot better so I'm hoping that it turned out better than the last one and that you guys like it and are able to see um, what I'm doing but this is the look it's just a gold sm glitter smoky eye um, some of the products are the same that I used in my last tutorial um, especially the glitter is the same one that I used in my last tutorial so if you want to know how to get this look, then keep on watching. Hey guys, so I've already primed my eyes with Max Painterly Paint Pot, and that's just going to prevent the eyeshadow from creasing. So this first shade that I'm taking is Max Saddle, and I'm just applying that with my Mac 224 brush, and I'm applying that as my transition color. So right below that, you want to take a reddish brown eyeshadow, and I'm just using Max Brown Script, and that's just going to deepen that transition color a little bit more. Um, you want to apply this a little bit lower than you've applied the last shadow that we took, and just blend it out really well. So just below that, I'm going to be taking a darker reddish brown color and this is from my new Tude palette and it's called Sexy. And I'm applying this right in my crease and this is just going to add even more depth to this look. You want to keep going lower with darker colors just so that there's a gradient effect to the eyeshadow. This next color that I'm taking is called Sleek and it's from my new Tooth palette also and it's just a dark brown eyeshadow. So I'm just applying this in my outer B and in my crease. The last color that I'm going to be taking from my new Tude palette is called Sirius and this is just a matte black eyeshadow. So I'm applying this in my outer V and in my crease and you can continue to just build that color because it is a smoky eye so don't be afraid to go back in and keep reapplying. Now on the leftover space, I'm just applying Urban Decay's Primer Potion in Sin, and it's just a shimmery eyeshadow base. 
and this is just going to prepare my lid for the eyeshadow color that I will be applying. The next color that you're going to want to take is a gold bronzy eyeshadow and I'm just taking Max Antique and I sprayed my brush with Max Fix Plus just so that the eyeshadow looks more intense and true to color. Now a lot of you have been asking me what is a good glitter adhesive. My favorite one is the Lit Cosmetics Glitter. Um, I also like the Sally's Girl Glitter Adhesive. Or you can use eyelash glue, it's up to you. Now you're going to want to apply the glitter adhesive. And I'm using the Sally Girls Glitter in Gold Digger. So you just want to apply this all over where you've applied the gold eyeshadow. Now you're going to want to line your eyes and add mascara. And I'm so sorry guys, I have no idea what happened to the footage of what I did with my lower lash line. For my lips, I'm taking Max Snob and applying it all over my lip. lip gloss I'm taking a lip gloss from Revlon and it's called lilac pastel and I'm just applying that all over my lips so that's it guys I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial um, please remember to rate comment and subscribe bye